iOS 13 has a ton of new features. Here is everything new and changed inside of the Messages app with iOS 13. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew from Apple Insider here and I have my iPhone running iOS 13. We're gonna jump into Messages and take a look at everything that is new and changed from the big to the small. Starting out on the main screen of the Messages app. This is a slightly new tweak design from what we saw before, but largely remains unchanged. You can see the edit button is gone and it's now been replaced by a new ellipsis on the right hand side. Tapping on that will bring a new modal that gives you those options and the new message option now has a blue background behind it. Tapping on that ellipsis we see we have select messages, which is essentially the same as edit messages and the edit name and photo option. This is essentially a new profile that you can use to share with people when they add your number. You can add it to everyone or just people in your contacts and you can choose maybe just your initials, an actual photo of you, or you can go in and choose an Animoji or a Memoji and you can create these right on the spot. If you're going with Animoji or a Memoji character, you simply strike a pose and tap the little photo button and it'll save your face just in that configuration. You can then center it in the little circle, scale it bigger, smaller if you need to, and you can even set a custom background color to really share your personality. Now, when you give away your phone number to someone, it'll automatically be able to pull in your photo that you've chosen and your name, so you don't have to wonder how to spell their name or grab a photo of them if you don't know them. Of course, you can set this to only do people that you have in your own contacts as well, so not everyone is getting your photo and your name if you don't want them to. This photo is also used in various places throughout the OS. So if you see your little game center notification come down, your picture will be there and in your iCloud profile. So it's used in a few different places. So choose the photo that you like best. Moving into an actual message chain, if I jump in here and talk to my wife, we can see a few of the other new features that we have coming along. Starting off with Animoji. Animojis have several new characters for you to play around with, including mouse. You can really see the animations and the whiskers and the ears. We have the octopus, which is very good at looking scared with all of its eight legs. And then we have the cow. So three new characters bringing to over more than 20 total characters. Apple continues to add Animoji characters. It's really fun. Remember, you can strike those poses, save them as stickers or whatever you'd like to do. And speaking of stickers, we have a new option available. So whether you're using a Memoji character or an Animoji character, the messages will now create stickers in all these various forms. They're very common kind of emoji-esque, like a lot of these are emojis that we see a lot and they've taken those emojis and turned them into stickers based around your custom Animoji or Memoji characters. Speaking of those Memoji characters, Apple has continued to add different customization options to creating those characters. So creating a Memoji is pretty easy. You go to the plus button and you can customize a face pretty much entirely from scratch. There are already a ton of options in there, but it gets further customizable with iOS 13. You have new categories of customizations and you can tinker with things such as eyeshadow, lipstick, different piercings, teeth, earrings, and hats especially useful for Apple lovers, there is an option to add audio or AirPods into your ear. So you can actually add AirPods into your character now. So a lot of new customizations coming to those Memoji characters. Further revamps include updating the info page for different message threads. So if we go to the top, tap on my wife's name and tap on info there on the right hand side. This new slide up panel, it's been slightly updated from what we saw before. A lot of the same information at the top, including her current location, thanks to find my friends. We have attachments, links, photos that she sent. And at the bottom, we also have locations that I wanna send her or that she sent me. So basically everything that we've shared as kind of attachments through our message thread is available there. Looking at the messages extensions, so if we go to photos, photos looks pretty much the same at first, but a little swipe up and you will see we have a new option at the bottom for sharing suggestions. So these should show up as Apple continues to scan my photo library, but then it'll offer up suggestions of photos that I may want to share with her. We have a new quick path keyboard, which is just swiping around the keyboard to type things. It works very easily, very well. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but a lot of people love these style keyboards. So it's nice to see Apple put their spin on it. This is a huge one for a lot of people. Messages actually now works when you search. Searching did not work before. It was definitely a pain, but now it is very robust. 
going into search you can see constant people on the top links that you use a lot or anything that's been shared just a ton of stuff to go through and as you search for things it'll actually bring them up including links photos attachments all of that you can even dive into individual conversations so i talk to a lot of people about dogs i can search through just conversations for the mention of dogs so search works now inside of the messages app and it works very very well you can see we have our new animated character on the top for our profile but if we go into notifications we have a new option for announced messages with siri this will do just what it sounds like whenever a message comes in and you have your airpods connected it'll announce that message that came in and it'll do it for either everyone favorites reasons contacts whatever you want to narrow it down to it's very handy if your phone's not nearby or you're working out we have a new taptic feedback whenever you send a tap back to a message it'll give you a little bit of a noise and a little bit of a vibration there we have a new option that says sent with siri so if someone sends you a message using their voice it'll actually tell you that it was sent with siri so if it doesn't look exactly right that would be why and of course messages look great with the new dark mode coming in ios 13 looks much better with that new darker interface so that rounds out everything we've seen changed here in messages in ios 13 and let me know what you think on twitter at andrew underscore osu hey everyone did you guys like that video be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see and follow apple insider on all social media channels if you want the best prices on any apple gear check out the apple insider price guide that is updated daily and until next time we'll see you later